We're very pleased to have someone uh, from the Sunlight Foundation come to us via video from Washington, D.C. Uh, the uh, person who's speaking with us today is Noah Kunin. He's a multimedia manager for the Sunlight Foundation and uh, is in, in charge of engaging them on uh, in a multiple number of mediums then. Uh, and we're going to watch a short video about a uh, campaign that they have going and then uh, he's going to speak um, a little bit to their work and, uh, and how it affects us. We're the project that we have done is not part of uh, Sunlight's uh, campaign or their efforts, but um, you know we are kind of fellow travelers in this transparency movement. And the stuff that they've been doing at the national level is, you know, it's very relevant. And we kind of speak to the same things. Um, so without further ado, uh, if we can cut the lights. Wouldn't it be great if the real world worked like that? To a large degree, it already does. All that information I can find on the internet. But you know what I can't find too often? Government information. Think about it like this. Every year when you pay your taxes, do you get a receipt? Sure, you can check how much is being spent on the military or on health care, but that doesn't tell you all that much. Government does a lot more than simply buying apples or oranges. And it's not just how much money government spends or receives. It's the work of government-funded scientists. It's the status of a bill in Congress that impacts your community. It's when that pothole down the street is going to get fixed by your city government. It's all of those things. Government produces all kinds, a smorgasbord of data, and it all belongs to you. You already paid for it. So shouldn't you, shouldn't everyone, shouldn't we have access to it whenever we need it? There's really only one place where all that information can be stored and distributed in real time. That's the internet. We have to fight in every city hall, every county seat, all the way up to the White House and Congress to make this happen. What government does impacts our communities, our businesses, and informs how we vote. We need to have access to as much information as possible so we can make sound decisions. It's our information. We just need better access to it. So join us in a campaign to ensure that every single piece of public government information gets put online in real time. To start this campaign, go to publicequalsonline.com and sign the pledge telling candidates for office in your area that you don't just care about open government, you also vote on it. And now actually from the video we have Noah here with us. Hi Noah. Hey everyone, thanks again for uh, having us here at your conference. We really appreciate it. Again, my name is Noah Kuhn with the Sunlight Foundation. We're a nonpartisan, nonprofit based here in Washington, D.C. And we use cutting edge technology to make government more transparent and accountable. And we're not just a campaign, as you saw in the video, we're also a community of technologists and software developers. We're a group of investigative reporters and uh, policy makers. We have a really great think tank on here trying to figure out how these policies are actually going to work when they get put into law. Um, what we're really excited to have seen, not just in the past year, but over the past couple of years, is a great coalition and consensus forming around fiscal transparency. Uh, recently, the Office of Management and Budget here in D.C. put out a great open government plan about how to make our nation's budget more transparent, more easy to use for software engineers. And we're really excited by what LBJ is doing through the Freedom of Information Foundation there in Texas. Uh, that's about it. Again, if you want more information, you can go to publicvisionline.com or the Sun or sunlightfoundation.com for information on our organization and how we're constructed. Great, thanks, Noah. Uh, do we have a question from the audience about their campaign or, or what Sunlight's been doing up in D.C.? There's a lot of conflicting numbers coming out of the healthcare debate. Who do we believe? Uh, yeah, well, we have this new product called Sunlight Live, which is a live fact-checking system uh, for live events. So, for example, when uh, President Obama and leaders of both parties from both sides convened in a single meeting right before the final debate on the run-up to uh, the passage of that health care reform bill, we had live fact-checking of the debate, live contextual data, so you can see how money had influenced certain legislators to believe certain things. So we had influence data, live fact-checking with a live video 
all in one place. And we're uh, looking to do that again, actually, for uh, financial reform. Uh, depends on how the legislation actually goes through the Senate and the House, but in the next two or three weeks, we might be seeing that. So that some might buy go to sunlightfoundation.com. Again, who do we believe? Because I like to think about this is in terms of like quantum physics, it depends who's looking at it and when. Uh, I think that's ultimately up to not just journalists, but citizens to really dig through every single bit and byte of data being thrown at them and to come up with the best conclusion. I don't think there's exactly a right answer, and definitely not one we're going to get into, but there are right answers as to what OMB is saying, what GAO is saying, what HHS is saying. Uh, those are definite numbers, and those shouldn't be twisted in the public debate. Now, do you remember about how many uh, folks that you had viewing the Sunlight Live for the healthcare debate? Yeah, more, more than 10,000 uh, were actually actively participating in our live blog. I don't have the number offhand of how many people just watched our coverage, mm. but we actually had a way for uh, citizens, journalists, or anyone else who had gone to actually co-participate and help us fact check and help us point us, point us to resources where these facts and this data was. And over 10,000 people actively participated. Yeah, I encourage you to, to go to Sunlight's website and check out, they have a behind the scenes video, I think, of how they set it up and it was really innovative, but what actually made it possible, I mean, so, I mean, this is a really dry thing generally that a lot of people don't tune into, but through the use of contextual information while the video was going, they were able to make it meaningful for tens of thousands of people who tuned in and watched this thing, you know, all the way through these multiple hours. But what made it possible is that Sunlight had a team of researchers there that were pulling on this open government data continuously throughout the thing in order to kind of to give context to the words. Um, so that's all the time we have. Uh, but thank you, Noah, for joining us. Absolutely.